Hello everyone, welcome to 2D Board Gamers. My name is Dave, and today we're going to continue my community deck series. This is episode 27, Ms. Marvel vs. Magog. So what I do is I play the heroes in alphabetical order versus the villains in reverse alphabetical order, hoping to avoid some of the matches I had in my pool series. And I go on to Marvel CDB, I find a deck created by someone in the community, and we try it out. So this deck is called Ms. Marvel vs. The World by A.W. Stevens. All right, let's look at the setup. So Magog has got a scheme of one, attack of two. After Magog attacks and damages a character, place one ratings on the champions. If the server gets five, it'll flip from the booing to the cheering side. Um, when Magog would be defeated, uh, reset his hit points back to ten. And we place three rating counters on challengers. And again, when there's five, we flip it. And we also get an, uh, an encounter card. All right, this is, I have, uh, I chose the Western module uh, because that was a genre that we didn't do in the pool series. For Magog, I kind of went through the three mojo modules, uh, the three mojo scenarios and chose the modules that way okay all right let's see how it goes two four six okay I like that. Four damage and stun was pretty good. So we're definitely keeping that because that'll pay for it. I'm actually going to mulligan three cards because I'm hoping to get in big in or something. That would be nice. And I did not get in big in. But I did get a wiggle room, which is good. And I got a mirror, which is good as well. So I'm going to grab a mirror. I'm going to use a mirror, and we're going to discard, we're going to put Sneak By on the bottom of the deck. Then we're going to do Teen Spirit. Oh, I get the Shrink. Okay. Um, Alright, so we're going to play Drop Kick using 3 Strength. So that does 4, and that will stun him. And... I'm going to, well, I forgot to flip up, exhaust to put drop kick back in my hand, and no, I'm not, I don't, no, instead I'll port for one, okay. We have two threat, he is stunned. My encounter card is Gang Up, so I could not avoid the encounters apparently. Well, I avoided one of them, so he's attacking me for two. I'll use Wiggle Room, so three. So I take nothing, and I will exhaust to put Wiggle Room back in my hand. All right. Do I have him digging? I do not. When Red Dagger is defeated, spend two resources. Okay. Um. Oh, I did take a damage, so I do put a counter on there. No, I didn't take damage. That's right. Um. Well, it'd be nice to shrink. I guess when I'm ready to thwart. Melee is kind of. A little overkill right now for because I only got one enemy. So yeah, we'll get a shrink out this turn. And that'll be my turn. I'm gonna discard melee. Draw three cards. Okay. Darn it. That's my only attack now. We okay, have two threat. He's attacking me for two. Four. So I'll wiggle room and wiggle room. My encounter card is 
and advance these schemes for four, which will pop that, and that adds two counters here. All right. Well, we'll embiggen, and we'll get Bruno out. But I'm doing no damage this turn. That stinks. One, two, three, four, five. Two threat. I don't have a wiggle room. Nope. So he's attacking me for two, three, and I get a counter. And my encounter card is a gunslinger who's got quick strike. When he engages me, I may spend two energy if I do deal damage to this minion equal to my hero's attack. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay. That is an attack. Oh, that's even better. Um, oh, we are going to embiggen. Relentless Assault. I'm just going to spend one, two. One of them's a strength. So we're doing seven damage. So that's three with four overkill. Um, I will put Relentless Assault back in my hand and I'll do a sneak by to get rid of the threat. Alright, so I still have not flipped him once yet. He's down to two. One, two, three, four, five. So it's, he's got three counters, I have zero counters. We got two threat. He's attacking me for two. I do not have wiggle room. Two. He gets the fourth one. My encounter card is break a leg. I am stunned. Take two damage. Four damage instead if there are more rating counters on the challengers than the champion. No. So I take, ooh, I'm down to one health. And I'm stunned. That's annoying. Okay. I can flip him. Which I think I'm going to do. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to flip him. I think the best way to flip him is to play Nick. One, two, three, four. I'll get Nick. One, two, three. Um, yeah, that'll work. I have Nick attack for two, which will defeat him. So I put three counters. I get an encounter card. I'm going to attack to get rid of my stun. And then I forgot to flip that. We're gonna do it in big hands and biggend, which will do six damage. Then I'm going I'm gonna flip down. I'm going to I don't have any I'm gonna put a big hands on the bottom of the deck. I don't have any cards in my hand for Bruno. Uh Let's do a Teen Spirit. And we'll stick Wiggle Room under Bruno now. Exhaust Bruno, attach a card. Exhaust Bruno to add up to three cards. Okay. Okay. One, I meant one health. Though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another break the leg and I would be dead. Add two threat. He's going to scheme for one, one, and I am confused. All right. I'll bring 
house back. First encounter card is Surge. Pump up the crowd. Neither one's on the cheering, so it's four. That adds two of these guys, and unfortunately I'm confused right now. And Jolt of Adrenaline, he gets his Retaliate and Stalwart. At least it happens when he only has four health left. All right, so first thing I do is I'm going to take a recovery. And then I'm going to do Teen Spirit, which gives me Nakia. He's got four health. Oh, Nick is gone. He's got four health. So I could flip him. Uh, I will not be able to thwart. So we're going to be adding. Yeah, so that's going to flip this turn. All right, so we're going to use the Helicarrier for Nakia. We're going to do a sneak by for the suit. any card attach one card from your hand face down here so I will put first aid under Bruno I'm gonna spin up oh before I spin up I use Nokia so Nokia suit I don't need to embiggen nope We'll do four damage, which will flip him. So that is four counters. So that puts me to seven. This resets to 10. I'll get an encounter card. And we have to look for Surprise Contender. And then we shuffle the encounter deck. Okay, this is actually pretty bad because I gotta do 10 damage super fast before I die. I'm low on health and I'm confused. And I have no defenders currently, no. Ooh, and I'm going to get three encounter cards. Awesome. is one two three four five uh, we are adding four threat which will advance this which we put two rating counters here which will flip this draw a card okay get an extra card which is nice all right, but I have to survive this slaughter of two guys oh, without a wiggle room. I don't think I can do it. I only have six health. Well, all right, so Magog attacks me for three. And then the surprise can... Oh, duh, I just realized I have wiggle room. I will play 
I'll exhaust Bruno to play Wiggle Room and then put Wiggle Room back in my hand. And then he attacks me for two. And I will play Wiggle Room again, so I take nothing. Okay. So I survived that stage. Now I still have to survive three encounter cards, though. First one is Surge of it. Aggression. So he gets some plus one, plus one. Okay, I just have to do 10 damage super fast. Home by Dawn. I'm exhausted. I will flip to Kamala Khan. But I have to discard a Persona. I will discard a Mirror, I guess. And we get a Gunslinger who has quick strike. Neither one of these guys have guard. No. Okay. Can I do 10 damage? The answer is I can do... I can do 6. Six to a minion. Oh, I don't think I can afford both those cards. Well, I do have the suit. So I can do six. Oh, no, that removes threat. I can do nine. Oh. I can do nine. That's it. Oh. All right. Yeah, it's like whining about nine, but... I haven't done Teen Spirit yet, so maybe, just maybe, I'll get lucky. Because I need uh, big hands. Which I did put a, uh, and I get sneak by. Okay, that doesn't help. Alright, that does not help. I can do 9 damage then. Uh, okay, well, well, we'll use Nakia and the suit and in Biggin. And we'll do a big hands and we'll do six damage to him at least. Then one, two, for a sneak by, we'll shrink it to at least get rid of this, which gets rid of this, so it doesn't pop. And so that was so that's both of these are done. And I will exhaust Bruno, discard a card to do first aid on myself. Oh, I don't get to do that. I get rid of my Confused instead. Ugh, that's even worse. So that is going to add two to, to the Challengers. Alright, I just have to hope I survive another round with three minions. Or two minions, three attacks. I don't have a wiggle room currently. One, two, well, I just drew a wiggle room, that helps. But we had six threat, which will advance that, so we have two rating counters. All right. Oh, and, oh, that's the plus one, plus one, right, okay. So he's attacking me for three. Four. So I will wiggle room. I'll take one, which then he gets one. This goes back in my hand. He's attacking me for, no, I'm gonna play it again. I don't want him to have that camera. All right, uh, the gunslinger hits me for two. And Surprise Contender hits me for three. 
my encounter card, which will be the last one. So we get an acceleration token. So I have to kill him this turn or the game will be over. Shadows. All right. Discard the top card of each free. I got two personas, so we lose two cards. Cannot take damage while I'm engaged with other minions. Okay, yeah, so I have to do four damage this turn. And can I do four damage? I can do four damage, yes. All right, so we're going to embiggen. No one has guard, right? No, embiggen a piercing strike to do five. Which gives me four counters. All right. Wow. That was very, 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 very close. Uh, I did not think I was going to make that. Um, so, yeah, that was Ms. Marvel versus Magog. Wow. Um, and the deck was Ms. Marvel versus the World by A.W. Stevens. All right, so the next matchup, the villain will be Magneto, and the hero will be Nebula, I believe. Yes, so it'll be Nebula versus Magneto. So, hope you'll join us for that. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe. Hey everyone, if you like that, we got more videos. There should be one here, there should be one here, and you can subscribe down here. Thank you.